You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. I've got your early edition spoilers for September 16th through the 20th. Brooke Logan is going to be fighting and Steffi Forster is going to be getting absolutely ruthless. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt. And as we always do on early edition day, we start with what's happening on the episodes the rest of this week, just to set you up, give you some good context. With that in mind, on Wednesday, September 11th, we have Taylor telling Steffi, you know what? You absolutely cannot trust Hope. What was very interesting at the Forrester party, which I assume is going to pick up on Wednesday, is while Steffi had her eyes firmly on Finn, Hope had her eyes on them, Brooke had her eyes on Hope, and so did Taylor. So both Brooke and Taylor noticed Hope giving that lingering, oh, I wish that was me up there with Finn look. And yeah, Taylor wants Steffi on high alert. She doesn't want her going through what she went through with the breakup of Ridge. You know, Taylor and Steffi both have it in their minds that Brooke is 100% to blame for breaking up their family. We can probably debate that one all day. But anyway, meanwhile, Brooke is also very concerned. She had told her that Finn and Steffi have this unbreakable love, hope, of course, insists that she's not trying to mess with them. She's over it and everything. But I think Brooke telling Hope that Finn and Steffi's love can never be broken, I feel like that is some kind of personal challenge to Hope. You remember when Steffi, like, I guess a month ago, said there's nothing you can do? That was when Hope first came on to Finn while she was wearing that robe and that lingerie down in the dressing room. And I feel like Hope just sees these as a challenge to do a bad thing. Meanwhile, Will Spencer sits down with Katie and Bill at the mansion. He is trying to fix Bill up with Katie, although he insisted he's not matchmaking. He's going to be matchmaking. And Liam is supposed to drop in on Finn at his office yet again this week. Remember last time he came in there talking smack about, you know, you kissed Hope and Steffi had to leave town and Finn's like, I did not kiss her. She kissed me. And of course, Liam can't process that. I Maybe his rose colored glasses don't process the fact that Finn's extremely hot and most women and half of men would probably kiss him. I just hope that Liam says something nice, like, oh, good, you rescued Steffi. But he might say something like, but she wouldn't have been in that position if not for you. That sounds like a Liam thing to say. Thursday, September 12th, Brooke has to defend her daughter when Taylor goes on the offensive. And this should be more of Taylor saying things like, Hope is turning into you, a home record targeting my daughter's marriage. We got to shut it down. And what's so weird, you know, is Finn being introduced. That ended the Hope, Liam, Steffi love triangle that everybody was tired of. But now we've got Hope pressing them back into another triangle. No, thank you. Hope needs to go get her own man. Does she only want a man that Steffi wants? It's crazy. Meanwhile, Finn has a discussion with his mom, Lee Finnegan. He is encouraging her to iron things out, be there for Poppy, reestablish their bond as sisters now that lunatic Luna is out of the way. And it does look like that Lee and Poppy are going to be spending more time together. That is what Poppy told Bill. I'm kind of wondering if Poppy might wind up moving in with Lee because staying with Bill might be a little awkward right now and Poppy is single. We'll see how it goes. Hope tries to apologize to Steffi on Thursday, but everything goes awry. And this is when Steffi's making the promise that she won't let her turn into Brooke. So what is she going to do about it? Lock her in a cage? <laughs> maybe uh, maybe Steffi can bring that home with her and put Hope in a little time out. Friday, September 13th is going to wrap up this week. Liam has a conversation with his younger brother, Will, and they're discussing Bill's love life. 
and how Poppy and Katie both fit into his life. And of course, the train wreck that was Luna and her lies and DNA fakery and murdering and all that good stuff. And it looks like Liam and Will are of a mind that Poppy needs to go. They don't want her in Bill's life and that Bill should take a second look at Katie. Meanwhile, Steffi is ready to play hardball and get that hope for the future line cut. And she has tried to talk to Ridge about it. She, you know, Brooke keeps jumping in and trying to forestall it. Hope keeps trying to make it like it's personal and not a business decision. So Steffi enlists Carter and her grandpa, Eric, and they are ready to make the decision to cut the line because if it's Steffi alone, then she might get overridden. But if Carter is there representing the money side of things and Eric is there on the design side of things, then it looks like with Steffi with them, Ridge is outnumbered even if he tries to pull Brooke into the mess. All right. Going into next week, September 16th through the 20th. By the way, season 38 of Bold and the Beautiful starts this Monday. That's exciting. Huge milestone. Taylor versus Brooke escalates this week because guess what? Looks like Hope is going to try to slide closer to Finn again, just like she did at the party. As soon as Steffi stepped away, Hope was right there and she's not supposed to be near him. Nobody wants her near him except for her. And her line is getting canceled. It's pretty much a done deal at this point, but new Bold and Beautiful spoilers say Hope is going to turn her attention to a new man to try and stop them scrapping her line. Maybe it's a new designer. Maybe it's Carter that she's trying to win over. I mean, who could stop this unless it's a designer or somebody with influence at Hope for the Future? The only designer that isn't either dating her mom or you know, not related to her biologically is Zende. So that would be pretty bizarre, but Hope's kind of unhinged right now. Ridge is going to get an earful from Burke about Steffi going to Eric and Carter to do an end run and get Hope for the Future canceled. But there's really no business defense that Brooke can make. The line is dying on the vine without Thomas. The only objection that... Brooke might be able to raise to have Ridge giving it a second thought is that if Hope doesn't have her job, that means she's going to have a lot more time to fixate on Fen causing problems for Steffi's marriage. But that's not a good reason to keep somebody around. Bill and Katie quickly see that Will wants them together. Liam is on the same page. So will Bill listen to his sons or will he waffle between the women? We do know Ridge is the Jedi master of woman waffling. And Liam learned it from his daddy. I'm wondering if Lee's going to invite Poppy to move in. I would prefer Poppy to just leave town. We've had enough of this storyline, but we'll see how it goes. And of course, we are still left watching and waiting for any sign that Thomas Forster is coming back to town soon. We may not see him until after his wife gives birth. They just had their baby shower with lots of B&B co-stars there for it. So maybe he's not back until after they give birth and he has paternity leave we'll see those are all of our early spoilers drop those comments click that subscribe button be sure and come back soon it is belinda from soap dirt talking bold with you seven days a week thank you for being a loyal listener follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode soap dirt is on all the major podcast platforms including apple podcast spotify iHeartRadio, and more.